Yo, what's up guys? Sehat? So hari ni Mim nak ajar korang macam mana nak edit video guna iMovie using only your iPhone. So jom kita start. Okay, so first thing first, buka iMovie app and create a project. Untuk create project, tekan that plus sign button and select movie. Okay, step yang kedua pula, kita kena import some of your clips into the project. To access your recently added video, just go to video Duh. and click on recently added. So I've actually visited a cafe recently. So I had lah shoot dia punya kedai intro, gara makan-makan sikit. Over here, I have three basic intro clips and I'm going to import this first into the project. Okay, so now you've really got like some clips for you to work with. But before that, you must first understand the layout of iMovie. This is your timeline. This is your preview screen. This is where you add photo, video and audio. This is your project setting. Dekat dalam project setting, you guys can actually set your overall project filter, theme and also my favourite fade in fade out feature. Okay, so make sure korang turn on fade in fade out feature ni, nanti baru lah ngam video korang. Okay, so now back to your project. If you notice right, bila you dah select satu clip, you akan nampak more features akan pop up dekat bahagian bawah. So the scissors icon is where you split duplicate clips. Untuk trim, just main je dengan yellow bracket tu. Also notice the time stamp here will reduce or increase when you adjust the brackets. Next is the speed meter icon. Here is where you can play with the speed and also to freeze your video and so on. Okay, that sound icon is where you get to mute your clips. T here means text or titles. iMovie pun text option agak limited but still cantik. So do give that a try, but personally I prefer to add text using other apps. Okay, icon yang bulat ni is called filter. Here is where you can add filter to your individual clips. Yang tadi tu, filter overall project. So korang jangan salah faham pula. Sebelum kita nak trim, kita kena fix dulu orientation video ni. I shot this video in landscape mode, but then when I imported the video, it's in portrait mode. So then how do I rotate the clip in iMovie? Senang je. All you have to do is just put two fingers on the screen and pinch towards the left. Ta-da! So now your clips are rotated. Senang kan? So let me just go do this quickly for the other two clips. Okay? Two seconds. Alright, settle. So now what I'm doing is just trimming the stuff that I don't want and finding the best scene that I think will fit my intro well. So for the newbies out there, do take your time, don't rush it. There's no shortcut in doing this, whether it's on app or desktop. You have to go to each clip that you have. Okay, so I've already trimmed down three of my intro clips. So this is how it looks like. It's a very simple 2.6 second short intro clip. It's perfect for like your IG stories and whatnot. Okay, steps to Rosnia, we need to import in more clips to the project so that we can have a better storyline and more things to play with lah, basically. Nice. Okay, so now uh, I want to upload like this um, drink video, all this three drink video. So instead of just trimming in the project, I can also trim it before I actually import the clips in. So this can be a faster way for you to actually trim down your clips. Okay, so while you're importing, you should also use the iMovie Clips Effects feature. You can only access to this feature while you're actually importing. I don't know why, but just uh, click on the three button thing. And if you click on that, you can see you have options like cut away, picture and picture, split screen, blue screen. So I find this feature damn useful, like, especially for like businesses who, or for anyone like, who have like, if they have a lot of footage, but they can only do like a 15 to 30 seconds video, you can always just use this feature so that you can stitch up all your clips together nicely and still maintain within that very short uh, time frame. So cut away here means that you will actually add in your new clip on top of your old clip. So like this. Nampak tak? Dia letak clip tu dekat atas your your main clip. 
then katakanlah if you don't like this effect you want to change this effect to something else you don't have to delete and repeat back the same importing process but instead just uh, click on the rectangular box icon there and then you will have uh, immediately you can see other options other effects options available for you next we have picture on picture so picture on picture ni uh, macam ni lah rupa dia you know, so you can actually add in your video or your pictures and you can animate it further by uh, dragging the position, uh, pinching to zoom, adjust the body line, and yeah. So split screen here is basically uh, two clips combined into one frame. So it's like side by side. So this is where you can use it to your advantage if you have a lot of clips but very little time for your video. Um, so over here you can see before I actually had two clips but I'm actually just going to use this one because uh, I like it better uh, and then what I'm going to do we can uh, animate it further by switching the position you can choose whether you want to add the white line or not and you can also play around with the pinch to zoom option which then allows you to adjust the size to make it more bigger or smaller so yeah this is a really really cool uh, uh, effect for you to play around with Okay, so last kali kita ada this green blue screen feature. So to use this feature, your clip will have to have like a green screen background. So I'm just gonna quickly import uh, an example of a clip, uh, of a green screen clip. So I'm just gonna use my transition, uh, my intro transition name here. Uh, so you can see the example. So now I'm gonna add it as green blue screen. And this is how it looks like. Pretty easy, isn't it? Alright, so this is actually the best feeling ever is when you've already imported all your clips and it's, everything is trimmed down to exactly the way you like it. Yeah, it's totally the best feeling ever. So over here, I have about like 30 seconds uh, video. Uh, so the only thing that's missing right now is actually audio. Um, so yeah, let's get to it. So to add audio, just click on the plus sign button and find audio. So iMovie actually provides like three different ways for you to add in your music. You can either do it by soundtrack, your own audio library or by sound effects I utilize all three to the max so soundtrack here is where you can find all the no copyright music that iMovie provide you can actually use uh, any of this song and upload it on your Instagram or your uh, YouTube channel and you won't face any issue any copyright issue and it's really sorted by the type of moods or genres that they have so it's pretty cool they have a wide range of uh, they have a wide range of options for you to choose from. iMovie also got like a huge library of sound effects. So I would suggest you try and see what kind of sound effects can fit your video first before you try and explore other sound effects uh, on other websites and so on. Uh, because what I, whatever that they have here in iMovie, it's pretty good enough. My music is where you get to access your own music library. So I'm re actually referring to iTunes. So if you have a lot of songs in your iTunes, then no issue bro. You can just use all these songs and just import it directly. But if you're not, if you're a Spotify user like me or you listen to songs on YouTube, you kind of need to uh, download those songs and uh, convert it to mp3 and add it to your files like this one. So only then you can locate your music in iMovie uh, which is going to be under your files and find your mp3 song and then import it to your project. Okay, so once you've already uploaded your music into your project, you can choose to set it as foreground or background music. Foreground maksudnya music depan, background is music belakang. So kalau you ada video cakap-cakap, make sure you set it as background music. The sound icon here is where you get to adjust the volume. The meter icon here is where you get to adjust the pitch of the clip. So that's pretty cool. And going back to the sound icon is where uh, you get to play around with fade. So this is my favorite part where you can uh, put in a fade feature in your intro and also put in another fade feature in your outro. So that's pretty damn easy to do. If you don't like where your music is stopping, you can also play around with the scissors icon and just trim 
your intro a bit if you don't like where it's starting or maybe it's a bit too uh it's not really numb la, with your music right so yeah play around with the trim so then you can get at the right position so this is what i'm doing right now so before i actually show you the final product i want to touch a bit about transition so if you notice the lines this this lines that you have between your clips that is where you can adjust the transition so in this particular project i have it set to mostly as none but over here you have several other um, uh, transition uh, options for you to play around with so for example you have theme and you have dissolve and so on so i think here if you notice uh, on the left hand side is where you get to adjust the time transition do you get what i mean so if you want the transition to be faster then you can set it as 0 0.5 and if you want it to be longer then you can set it as 1.0 then you also have slide uh, which under slide you can also choose whether you want to swipe it to right swipe it to the left just double tap on it you also have wipe which also have the same feature you can wipe you can wipe left wipe up wipe up uh, wipe down and you also have fade so fade here is also where you get to decide whether you want to fade in white or fade to black Finally, we're at the end of this video. So that was my take on a simple John Jerry Cherry Makan kind of video. Um, yeah, I hope you guys like it. I really enjoy editing videos on my phone and I've always just used iMovie and some of other free apps. Do let me know if you guys want to know more about it. I'll be happy to make tutorial videos for you. Um, yeah, and for iMovie here, my last tip is that they um, they also have like multiple export options. So over here you can see you can render it in like 1080p, 720p. So yeah, it's a pretty pretty good app and it's free. So yeah, that's my tip for today. So do let me know if you find this very very useful. And I'll see you guys uh, in the next video. Bye!